FaceTime Paul Cavero. Well, I got a, I've got a major question for you. What's the question? All right, so I'm extending the fence in my backyard, and I thought a cool yeah. animal to be would be a teacup pig because I fell in love with Lulu when you first got her. Do it, mate. Let's show you mine. Oh, there they come. Oh, my lord. Look at all of them. Oh, my god. Hey, kiddos. What's up, everyone? Yeah, dude, do it. I swear I'm the coolest animal. Okay, perfect. Do you have any any tips, anything yeah. I should do? Make a mud pit. Make, Make a, a mud pit. pit. Well, all right. Mini pig it is. It's lit. Just take He's a look at the me. <laughs> you boys don't get slide in this. Nothing. Wait. This it's is lit. Waddle. She want to catch all of the drip. 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 It takes two years to find pig food. Mini pig. You Well, that was a few days ago, guys. So, uh, obviously, I kind of teased you in the last video because a uh, partial part of the video I showed the pig. And I uh, started building a fence. I mean, as you guys can see, we went to work. We've been building, building, building. So, let's check it out. So, we've got an entire new enclosure. Like, everything's decked out. But this is our complete new gate. As you guys can see, it's fantastic. Look at that locks and everything this is actually an eight foot gate because we're gonna put some big stuff back here like toys and mud pit and things for the animals to play with because the goats love to play with stuff but if you come on in through our eight foot gate which is massive me and Christian deck this thing out we walk over here so this is all a shaded area there's a tree and the zip lines over there I mean everything's kind of dope but this is perfect putting up an eight foot hardwood fence we just gotta do a lot of tree work before we do that so this is the fence that me and Christian did so right here I've got this wire that comes all the way up to here so nothing can get out, but this is everything we put in yesterday, and it's freaking sturdy. Like this is, I mean, we've gotten the hang of fence building out here. Which is fantastic. Also, these, we saw somebody stalking and filming my house a minute ago, so please read these if you ever come to my house. I posted a picture of Steven earlier on Instagram because he used to be tiny and nice, and now he's mean. This is where the problem really lies, is this is where the, we used to have a big fence back here, but the city had to take it down because it was falling apart and then it was never put back up, and we need it back up. So we have a cyclone fence in the meantime, and there was, I guess, some like big hole right here, so I put up some wire right here to help prevent that stuff too. We're just trying to make sure the animals stay in at the moment, but yeah, like I said, we gotta get that eight foot hardwood fence up, which is not this size. Yeah, this is about a six. Yeah, this is an eight. So that's gonna go along the entire backyard, so nobody can see from this general vicinity of the road. Here's where the video gets amazing. You guys see that little creature over there? He's He's over there. He knows. Got him. Got him. Lack nothing. Lack nothing. This is Waddles. This is our teacup pig. Say hi, Waddles. He's actually a house pig. Like, this This is actually a house pig. I'm not even joking right now. This pig lives in the house with us. He already knows his name. He is basically potty trained already, and he sleeps in my bedroom. He's just out here because it's a nice day outside, and he loves the sun. Say hi, Waddles. <laughs> But no, he uh, actually, oh, he's about to fall asleep. He gets in your hands and then he just kind of, well, he's fat, passes out. So yeah, this is Waddles or teacup pig. He doesn't get massive, but he does get a decent size. He's only six weeks old, so he's only eating grain right now. But when he's around four months and start feeding him vegetables, he's gonna be in here a lot of the times during the day, which is the prime reason why we built it. So he's gonna get a little mud pit. But no, uh, big props to Paul, because I know a lot about pigs because of my buddy Paul. I actually, I was one of the first people to know that he got his little pig a long time ago, Lulu. But this is Waddles. Meet Waddles. Waddles, say hi. You got a lot of you got a lot of fans in there, Waddles. Approximately 308,000. Which, thanks guys, we're going up like over a thousand subscribers a day. Some days we're going up like six and seven thousand subscribers in one day. Unbelievable, like thank you. But yeah, meet Waddles. So I'll show you what setup we have for him inside. That way you can kind of see like where he's sleeping and everything. Come on, Waddles. Needle, 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 needle. Here he comes. He's coming. He's coming. He's he's looking for us. He loses us, but he knows where his room is. Waddles. Here he comes. Hey, Waddles, come here. That's Waddles. <laughs> He's basically been chilling with the family the past few days, but this is where he sleeps. He sleeps in this little kennel right here, and I've actually got a fan that I bring around the corner for him because pigs don't really sweat, so you get a fan at night, which he loves. We have a different towel that we put in here in each day, and we have a water bowl for him, but he's never in here, except for when he wants to go to sleep. He'll go in there to go to sleep. Like right now, he's probably gonna go in, but he eats in there and sleeps. 
about Waddles? You gonna lay down? Okay, or not. But yeah, no, Waddles is a teacup pig. Now, I paid $100 for Waddles. Where are you going? And so far, I think he's been like the little mascot the past few days. Like, all of the family's been over. I mean, everybody's been over. Me and Christian went out to go get him. But on top of that, we also have our baby duck down here that's growing up. Hey, hey, Chad. How's it going? What's going on, little guy? That we also rescued. And actually, Chad and Waddles are pretty good friends. Waddles will follow him around a lot of the time. Isn't that right, Waddles? Hey, say hi. You looking at Chad? Me and Victoria took this picture of him the other day, and uh, he's smiling. Waddles is, Waddles is literally smiling in the picture. So everybody comment what you think about him, because uh, I posted this poll, and I asked what people said the next video should be, and everyone said new animal, so. Say hi. That, that's the new animal. <laughs> Here he comes. I, I'm not even kidding, he already knows his name. He follows me everywhere. Let's go, Waddles. Waddles was watching Netflix with me the other day. <laughs> Come here. He's having the time of his life right now. Say hi to everyone, Waddles. Oh, that's, a, <laughs> Waddles, what the heck? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. So now with the fence being where it's at right now, and Waddles always wanting to play outside, we're definitely gonna build him a mud pit. Apparently that's like an essential for pigs, which uh, I, I mean, I knew. Make a mud pit. Make a mud pit. But I didn't know if I wanted to do it yet, but I, I am. So probably like somewhere in the middle back here, we're gonna do a mud pit for him. And there's also a bunch of shade. So he's gonna love that during the day. Cause I'm gonna let him out during the day, but I'm also gonna let him inside. Cause he loves laying down inside and just hanging out. I'm gonna run over here. Look, here he comes. He's like, wait for me. Look at him, look at him come. <laughs> Come on, Waddles. That is a door. That is so cute. Oh. Okay. I don't think he knows where I am. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> he found me. Yeah, that's all he wants is to be scratched. I got you, Waddles. Don't worry. Aside from the animals, the fish and everything are doing good. The arowana actually jumped out of the tank the other night, which is crazy. Christian didn't even know that. But uh, I was opening it up right here and I was feeding him and when I dropped food in, he jumped out right there, landed on the top, and I had caught him right here and like dunked him back in. And uh, yeah, he, he wasn't very happy. But he's good now. Um, that was freaking terrifying. There's our Oscar, our adorable little Oscar. And there's the flower hornet. Hi, I see you, Chad. I see you. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm filming. Okay, fine. Here you go. You can have some love. There you go, little dude. Where'd you go? He's under the bed. Okay, aside from Waddles, because this entire video has been oriented around him, if we pop that, come back here. The pond looks insane. I wish it wasn't as shady right now, but it is like stupid clear. I mean, you can kind of tell. It's just like, there's a big thing of shade coming in. I did get a comment asking when I'm gonna buy a house. Legally, I cannot buy a house yet because I'm only 17, but the second I turn 18, I plan to buy a house, and then the videos are gonna be insane because we're gonna be doing all this there, but we're also gonna be leaving a lot of stuff here because this is like the OG place. I can't just, you know, take it apart. That would be messed up. But no, you guys can see the koi and the tilapia, everybody down there. I feel like I haven't shown enough of the alpacas yet either, and though there's some chickens back there also. There's a lot going on here. I convinced him that I had food. Watch now, I'm gonna try and pet him, and he's gonna swear of me see also this is a great enclosure for the chickens the chickens hang out over here a lot too i've got to get them a coop to put it back here but you guys have seen the gate i've got to close this thing up you guys have really seen everything new we haven't hung out much today i know there's a new guy in the house i still love you though these are like the og animals of the house this and then the bunny and ducks and everything in here i'm looking for our beta fish i don't see the oh he's right there he's literally camouflaged inside of this thing Beta fish is doing really good. So is the puffer. And so is the axolotl. His water is still low at the moment. You can see his little face right there. What, Waddles, leave me alone. And then after that, there is still goldfish in here. I don't know if you guys can see him every... Oh, there's there's a lot over there. There is still goldfish in here. It's now about time to start decking out this thing. Comment some fish ideas for that. With that being said, though, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. If you haven't followed my TikTok yet, we're about to hit 300K on there. And uh, Instagram, we just hit 30K, so thank you. We're going 333, like we just hit 300K on YouTube, too. So, if you get to subscribe, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell so you can get notifications when Waddles is, is on the move. If you have any videos, ideas, or suggestions, comment them down below. Any cool things we can build for Waddles other than a mud pit, also let me know. So, with that being said, I think me and Chad are going to uh, finish editing this video, considering Chad's my editing partner. All right, Chad? Chad? Chad, you good? So, we'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace. Say peace. Say peace. Say peace. Okay, alright, okay, peace.